Miracles. Against the law of nature. Supernatural. Wonders. This is your program, Hour of Miracles. Hello, dear friend, may the spirit of the living God bless all of you once again. We are here with our program, Hour of Miracles. And I would like to open, to show to you now, results of faith from people that they were diagnosed with an incurable disease. People that they were, my friend, hopeless. But through their action of faith, God could be able to perform a miracle in their life. What they are not expecting to happen, they received. And you also, you are going to receive. Please, get yourself ready and prepare a glass of water. Because at the end of this program, I am going to do a special prayer for you. Our numbers are 3899-9880 or 709-8062. You can call, you can WhatsApp us because we have a team of faith more than ready to help you let's talk about power take a look now to this wonderful the, the wonders that god have been doing in so many people's lives my name is donald and i experienced paranormal activity in my life. I was a regular member of the church. I came uh, every, every, just about every day. And uh, when I stopped coming to, to the church, um, everything seemed to go wrong. I, I started experiencing paranormal activity. I felt like something evil was following me. I had visual hallucinations and audible hallucinations. I felt that uh, everything was trying to destroy me. I had uh, very bad problems not coping what reality was anymore. Everything seemed like the devil was after me. He was attacking me. Not only was it the things that I experienced in my head, I also found my loved ones to be turning on me. I didn't know what, what to feel. But I just knew that I was, con I was being controlled by all these hallucinations were controlling me like a puppet. And other things that I, I could not sleep, I could not go into sleep mode. I had, to, I had to stop the work. I didn't work. When I was working, uh, basically I was, I, was, I was incapable of for, for performing my duties. So I, I was actually um, fired from my job for not uh, showing up to work because I, I couldn't cope. The situation was horrible with my family. They couldn't cope with it. They didn't know what had happened to me. They wanted to seek uh, spiritual help for me, for me, for myself, and, and for the family, because they didn't know what was going on. They didn't know what triggered the effect. They were at a loss for, but they, they were sure that if I returned back to the church, uh, everything would stop. Today, I, uh, I'm, uh, I have a normal life. Uh, I, have a, I have a good job. I have a good job. I have a spiritual, strong life. I studied the scriptures, I studied the Bible, and I, I'm a regular in the church. I'll, I'll come Wednesdays and Fridays and on Sundays, and everything for me is about God now. Everything I want to do is based on how I can implement everything I do to help others. I, today I have a good job, and I'm going to school. Uh, I, I actually have a brand new car. You know, so a lot of perks come with having a good life. I am completely free. I have nothing, nothing that hinders me. The first time that I was abused, I was molested. I was touched. Um, I didn't know, I was too young to really know what, what was going on. And then it happened again. And then it happened again. And then it happened again. I started drinking and smoking at an early age. I was diagnosed with depression, manic depression, post-traumatic stress syndrome, anxiety, bipolar, mood disorder, 
and uh, the OCD was probably the worst. I had lots of panic attacks. I was taking about 17 pills a day. Um, I was always dazed out. I started seeing the shadows and moved from that to me hearing things. My sister actually invited me to the Universal Church. She explained to me that she had found the church. Um, I remember the first week of attending the chain of prayer, I had a lot of changes. I haven't had any mood disorders at all. I don't see shadows, don't hear voices. I have checked back with the doctors um, and they also told me that I no longer have these, these, this illness. I no longer have panic and anxiety attacks. I'm free, I'm not on medication, I'm not rageful, I'm not angry. I'm just living life now that I have never been able to live before. David had many enemies, but none prevail against him. For he was in close. For it is written, You have hedged me behind and before, and lay your hands upon me. On the other hand, many people are vulnerable to so many attacks from their enemies. Witchcraft, depression, and great financial failures. That's why we invite you to receive the real body closing with the oil that was blessed by the pastors and be victorious at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., especially 5 p.m., and also 6.30 p.m. at number 40 South Key Port of Spain and all other Universal Church countrywide. Wear your mask at any hour or time of the day. A miracle can happen. You are watching Hour of Miracles. Yes, Pastor, indeed, we are here once again, and I have more names that I'm going to be placing inside of the holy oil. My dear friend, you can see that many people, they are in need of a solution. Many people, my friend, they are calling, they are sending us their message because they want to see their life being transformed. And perhaps, my friend, your life is not in the way that you want. When your name be placed inside of this holy oil, God is going to make, my friend, that miracle that you are in need of to come to Pass. It doesn't matter where you are in this present time. Perhaps you can be in the hospital. Perhaps you are watching us there inside of your jail cell. Perhaps you are throughout this nation in Wallafield, in Jacob Hill, in Komoto, in Little Cora, there in Sandy Grandi. Perhaps you are there in Valencia. Perhaps you are there in Toco. Perhaps you are there in Point Fourteen in, in San Fernando. It doesn't matter where you are. Send us your text, your WhatsApp. Because, my friend, we're going to be placing your name inside of the holy oil. I have here with me someone by the name of Ra Raska. From all the way in Konupia, she wants a miracle to be free from the spiritual attacks and cannot afford to pay her rent. I have here with me someone by the name of Ronald. They are from all the way in Aruka, and this person wants to be free from the addiction. I have here someone by the name of Miss Janelle from all the way in Arima. She wants to be free from all her body pains. I have the, the name of someone by Monty, Mr. Monty from all the way in San Juan, who wants to be free from her problems. I have here someone by the name of Dolly. That is all the way in Canopia wants to be free from spiritual attacks. And I also have the last person by the name of Elijah that wants to see their self being free from this stomach pain. So, well, your name is being placed inside of the holy oil. Send us your text, your WhatsApp to 389. 9880 or 7098062. Don't, my friend, disconnect. Don't change the channel because, my friend, the pastor is going to be making a very special prayer on your behalf. If you have your bottle of water with you, your glass of water, you can prepare, rest right at the side where you're sitting watching this program because the man of God is going to be making a very special prayer on your behalf. Back to you, Pastor Junior. 
Well, well, friend, welcome back to our program. Thank you, Pastor Ryan. You can keep in calling us, WhatsApp us, because we are going to help you. Friend, we are preparing ourselves for tomorrow. Tomorrow, Friday, is going to be the first anointing for the closing of your body. We are going to ask God to bring to you protection. There are many people that they are victimized of witchcraft, obia. Ob there are many people, friend, that they are not able to sleep well during the night because the evil by night have been coming and tormented them. Some others, they are tormented by evil that comes during the day. During the day, perhaps you are that kind of person that you have been feel depressed, stressful, you have been feel down, so many evil thoughts, you are bombarded by, you know, evil thoughts, due to the financial problems, family problems, love your life problems, due to the problems that you have been going through. However, tomorrow here in our national headquarters and also countrywide, we are going to be determining the protection of of God upon your life. I would like you to take a look to this powerful testimony and you are going to see what have been taking place here on Friday. People they have been coming evil possessed but through their prayer, through their strong prayer, they have been received their freedom. Take a look and I'll be back with you in a few. My name is Devi Passara. Before coming to the Universal Church, my son had a lot of problems. He was diagnosed with seven different sicknesses, including cerebral palsy, autism. He was anemic and he also had tonsillitis. Every time I would go, it's different sicknesses. They would always keep adding. Also, they said that he was dumb. At the age of five, he couldn't speak. And this was one of the most trying times for me because sometimes it's really hard. I feel to give up. I just feel to leave him and walk out. But God was there with me. He gave me the strength to go ahead. And coming to the Universal Church, I learned how to put my faith in action and I decided to persevere for his healing. I did my chain of prayer, I did my faithfulness in different campaigns and I saw my results. Today, I would like to let everyone know that my son is healed. He is eight now and he's speaking. A little too much, but God has been working in his life. God has been blessing him. Now he would preach and glorify the name of Jesus, which is one of the greatest joy in my life. And I would encourage everyone to do a chain of prayer, fight for the healing, not only for yourself, but for your family. And also, in whatever campaigns they are coming up, once you believe and you persevere and put God to the test, He's going to answer you once you give it 100%. At any hour or time of the day, a miracle can happen. You are watching Hour of Miracles. Four types of curses. Spoken curse. Words have great power, both beneficial and destructive. Negative words are used a lot of times to destroy a person's life. The victim of a spoken curse sees his life crumbling without knowing why or how. These negative words could have been active in the life of this individual since childhood. Because of ignorance, many parents curse their children, causing misfortune for them. You are just like your father. You are an idiot. You will never be anyone in life. Generational curse. This kind of curse passes from parents to children, sometimes even for long generations. Diseases, addictions, such as alcohol or other drugs, accidents and even suicidal tendencies are a few of these examples that can be passed down from generation to generation. Acquired Curse When a person seeks help from dark spirits, he attracts to himself all kinds of curses that accompany him throughout his life. Ouija boards, spiritual consultations, prediction of the future, tarot cards, horoscopes, the use of cursed objects, or to be directly or indirectly involved with witchcraft can lead a person to be a victim of this kind of curse. Invoked Curse when a person declares negative words against herself or specific situations in her life, this person is unknowingly triggering a curse. My life is always the same. I am useless. I will never change. All men do the same to me. I was born to suffer. 
this type of curse is very common and extremely destructive. Many people unintentionally proclaim these misfortunes to their life. David had many enemies, but none prevail against him. For he was in close. For it is written, You have hedged me behind and before, and lay your hands upon me. On the other hand, many people are vulnerable to so many attacks from their enemies. Witchcraft, depression, and great financial failures. That's why we invite you to receive the real body closing with the oil that was blessed by the pastors and be victorious at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., especially 5 p.m., and also 6.30 p.m. at number 40 South Key, Porter Spain, and all other Universal Church countrywide. Wear your mask. You put yourself behind the enemy before me. This is exactly what the Bible says in the book of Psalm 139 verse 5. And my friend, while the hands is upon you, once the hands, my friend, is upon you, no evil will be able to destroy your life. Give us a chance to prove to you that God, He has the power to reverse the situation that you have been going through. Maybe one day you found a work of witchcraft by the door of your house. Somebody put some coins and you have no clue, you have no idea why people they have been trying to destroy your life. Always you have been experienced bad dreams, nightmare. Friend, you have been suffering from this migraine headache for so many years. It seems like you are going to get crazier. That's why tomorrow you cannot miss the first anoint that you are going to receive. The anoint of protection for the closing of your body. That's why, friend, we are going to be waiting for you here in our national headquarters. You are going to have a sixth opportunity to receive this special anoint. And also, I would like you to bring your family member. Yes, mother, bring your son, the one that's walking among bad people. Bring your husband, your boyfriend, the one that is addicted to cigarettes, the one that is addicted to alcohol. Up to now, no one could be able to help him. But here at the Universal Church, we are going to help you. Before we do the last prayer, let me call Pastor Ryan because Pastor Ryan, he has more name to be placed inside of the Holy Oil. And also, when I come back, I'll be back with the moment of prayer in order for God to bless all of you. Yes, Pastor, indeed. As you can see, I'm still here, Pastor, and I have more names that I'm going to be placing inside of the Holy Oil. My friend, do not be afraid because God is going to work a miracle inside of your life. Send us your name, your text, your WhatsApp to 389-9880 or 7098062 because your name is going to be placed inside of the Holy Oil. You can be anywhere throughout Trinidad and Tobago. It doesn't matter the problem that you're going through. It doesn't matter, my friends, your current situation right now because nothing is impossible for God to do. I have here with me, Pastor, someone by the name of Anne that they have a lot of pain inside of their body. Also, Margaret, who has a stomach pain. I have here Patricia Joseph from all the way in Shogonis, who needs to be free from spiritual attacks. I have here someone by the name of Grace from Diego Martin here in Port of Spain, who is unemployed and also has a problem in her health. I also have someone by the name of Miss Dolly, who also is unemployed. Your names is being placed inside of the holy oil. Do not be afraid, my friend, because this oil is not a normal oil. This is the oil of miracles. And when your name be placed here inside of the oil, the God of miracles, is going to give to you the miracle that you have always dreamt of. Back to you, Pastor Junior. My name is Gerald Scott. Before I came to Universal Church, I, was, I didn't know anything about tithing. I, I used to go to work, receive my salary, go Lyme, 
drink, hang out with the boys, and I was the best buyer. When I came to the Universal Church, I learned, I get to learn about tithing, which I had never known anything about in my life. And by learning about being a tither, I get to realize, give back to God, and God will bless me always. It, um, in 2016, I didn't work for the whole of 2016, and I was home and being faithful, and, and whatever job I get, I do pay tithes and, as well, and I got a job in 2017. This is the first job that I have that I stayed so long on the job, right? I never used to keep a job long, and from then till now, I am working, and I'm a faithful tither today. Now I, I see money lasting in my hand, I see things lasting in my house, I see my relationship changing, I see a total transformation in my life in all areas. Right now, I, I could, the best advice I could say, you have done all you have done to try to fix your financial problem, try being a tither. It works and, and you will always have. Try being a tighter now. It will, it will help you. You also, you can be a faithful tither and also you can send your tithe through this account number, this account name that you can see. Or those of you that you want to sow your seed into this ministry, friend, you can do so. Because through your help, we have been helping a lot of people. And from the moment that you trust upon the word of God, God is going to bless you. Okay? I have my water here in my hands, and I would like to do this special prayer on your behalf. Our Lord and our Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, my God, I ask you for you to consecrate and bless this water. For when, my God, this person, they drink from this water, take away what they have infirmed, this incurable disease. My God, take away this infection, this bleeding problem, this migraine headache. Ah, my God, transform this water into a healing and also a holy medication. My Lord, I pray on behalf of this person. I pray on behalf of this person's family. Bring peace, bring joy, Lord. Bring a total transformation to this person's house. My God, I pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago. My God, I bring peace to our nation. We have been seeing that the numbers of crime have been increasing every single day. But you have the, the power to stop with this curse. That's why we call upon you, we call upon your name. My God, bless this coming Monday when we are going to have the opportunity to vote. Bless this election. Let your will to be done to Trinidad and Tobago. And also I pray on behalf of our Prime Minister, Keith Rowley, give it to him, my God, long life. Bless him and also bless his family. Bless all the ministers of Trinidad and Tobago. My God, I surrender this person's life, those who sent their names to be placed into the holy oil. And my God, Tomorrow, Friday, when this person comes to your house and when they receive this anointing on top of their head, you are going to bring protection to this person's life. It is exactly what I ask you and whoever believes, say amen. Do you believe, friend? You may drink right now from your water and be blessed. Very well, friend, I have no doubt that God, he heard our prayer. I would like to invite all of you to watch our prayer that's going to be done at midnight. Tonight, a man of God from Uruga is going to consecrate the oil and is going to give it to you more details what's going, what will take place in here in our national headquarters and also countrywide. 
we pastors and assistants, we are preparing ourselves for this Friday. Because, friend, when you cross through the doors of the universal church, the spirit of depression, the curse, whatever people have done against you, will not prevail against you anymore. Get yourself ready tonight at midnight. A man of God from Uruga is going to be consecrating an oil. Perhaps you may ask, but pastor, why Muruga? Tonight, when you watch our program, you are going to find out more about it. I'm going to finish here with our program, Hour of Miracles. However, I'm going to leave to you a powerful testimony about the 21 days of Daniel's fast. And throughout of these days, my friend, we have been seeking the presence of God. We have been talking about the Holy Spirit. And if you want to receive the Holy Spirit or be part of the 21 days of Daniel's fast, join us. Number 40 South Kia here in Port of Spain or in one of the universal church close to you. May the Spirit of the living God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Priscilla. And at the age of 15, I started going to the clubs. I would go there with friends, my cousins, and even my boyfriend, who is now my husband. So we would go there every Saturday. He would spend a lot of time with me the whole Saturday. We'd go to movies, and afterwards we'd head to the clubs. And there I would drink, I would laugh, line with friends, and we would have a really good time. But most of all, I would dance. I got a lot of attention when I danced. I started going with my husband. And from there, this was just temporary for three years. I got married. And when I got married, everything changed. I had my first son. And I noticed that my husband started paying less attention. And he would go out with his friends. I was no longer his number one. He would go with his friends, he would smoke, he would lie with them, come home all hours of the night, one, two o'clock. And when he would come home, we would argue a lot. I would do the arguing at night, and in the morning time, I would be more peaceful and calm, and he would be arguing in the morning. So there's always an argument, and it would always be opposite times. So in, the house became very, like, upside down. So things got more worse, and I noticed he started like staying one day out and then he would come home the other day. And um, this is where like I spent the worst moments of my life. Also we had separated a lot and for months he would be away from me and then he'd come back and um, it was like a cycle. Each time we would make up then we'd break up but I realized it was a generational curse as well because my parents also, their first marriage didn't work out. They got divorced. On his side was the same as well. They got divorced and it came from our grandparents as well. So it was a generational curse that had to be broken. I first heard about the Universal Church through my sister. She came to the Universal Church and used her faith. She couldn't con conceive before and she had a baby, and she invited me to come. So the first time I went, I went to the main branch, which is when a pastor spoke to me, he told me to come for a prayer. I told him I couldn't stay, but after praying for me, tears fell from my eyes, and I felt light. He told me, he said, can you go on one day longer with your same problems? And that kept beaten in my mind over and over and over. And I decided to come. Ever since that, I started coming every Sunday. Then I started to do the chain of prayers. I would come every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday and make the chain. At times, it would be very hard to come and not break the chain, but I saw the results. I saw the power of God by coming and doing this chain. My daughter, she had an ear infection and the medication didn't work. So I used my faith with the olive oil and I saw the results. So that encouraged me to do other chain of prayer. 
I had two sons who had asthma, and you all know at night times you have to go there in the health center, and it just took a lot of time, patience, and it would sometimes be so terrible. They were also healed from asthma. So I saw the power of God in their lives as well. I started putting aside everything. I locked off from Facebook, from WhatsApp. Um, I stopped listening to the world, the music. I started paying more attention to the word of God in the church, started practicing it. And when I go home, I would even watch a TV program. So when I started investing more time on the word of God and eliminating everything from the world, I decided to go down on my knees, going down on my knees and really repented from everything that I've done because although you know you know about God and you went against him it was that day that I really repented I went on my knees and I told them how sorry I was for all the sin that I did and when I got up I was no longer accused in my mind of what I did in the past. But just that day, I would never forget. It was a day that I would always remember because on that day, I never felt such great love, joy inside of me. And anytime I reflect on that verse or meditate on that verse, I would remember my meeting with him, my encounter with him. So ever since that day, my whole life changed. Everything about me, it's like my whole character changed. Instead of just with the intention of coming to church to receive, I was able to give what I received. So I started joining the group because of what I received inside of me. So the same way I repented, I changed and I give my life to God. The same way you can too because he loves you more than you can imagine. And you can only feel that love and experience that love and know about that love when you give him a chance, he's waiting on you.